Hey what's up invaders, Eli here, and welcome back to Ant Invasion. Today, on this episode of Keeping Up With The Colonies, we will be checking up on our Fidole colony, and boy have they changed. The first ever episode of Keeping Up With The Colonies featured this spectacular Fidole colony, and recently they have just exploded in population. Under this playing card is the colony. Last time we checked up on these guys, they had one distinct egg pile. Now, larvae is scattered all over the place, which is probably a sign. I've got to move them into a bigger nest. As well as this, the colony has approximately 10 or so mages. I assume this is because I've been feeding them fresh grasshoppers, and the colony really benefits from these muscle-faced freaks as they can slice and dice the grasshoppers, so that smaller workers can easily bring them back into the nest. Here is the main egg pile within the nest. It's getting really big, and if I continue to feed the colony at the rate I currently am, they should start to explode even more. This colony really enjoys a variety of foods, but I find the most pleasing thing to give them is chia seeds, and here is why. First of all, I place a little lid full of about 30 seeds, which over time, the workers haul back to the nest. This is where the workers and mages take the skin off the seeds. Once this process is complete, the seed is then dragged into the vinyl tubing. Here in the vinyl tubing, the seeds sit and begin to germinate. Once this process begins, the seed is brought to its final stage to thrive, which conveniently enough is within the smaller water reservoir in the outworld. Now that I've shown you guys that I'd like to show you the outworld, and yeah, more like a mining world than anything else. As you can see, the ants have used the tin foil I've got to take out as scaffolding to support the sand structure that they are now using as a tiny satellite nest. But personally, I don't want them to do that, so instead, I've let you guys, my amazing subscribers, choose what I do with this colony. Should I attach a size 3 Ants Australia acrylic nest? Or should I add a second size 1 acrylic nest as a satellite nest? Hit the info card in the top right hand corner to let your voice be heard. Also, if you watched my last video, you'd know that I'm looking for names for my bull ant queen. And they are also in the top right hand corner. You guys vote for a name which will be announced in my next video. Anyway, thanks for watching this episode of Keeping Up With The Colonies. Ant Invasion, out.